Right, here I am, Suffolk Triumph, once again. Yeah, all these marvellous bikes, but what am I on? Look at this, Triumph Scrambler 1200X, marvellous, marvellous colour. Um, oh, round clock, let's see if we can... Oh, into gear, gear indicator, marvellous. Oh, look at this, this baby's only done 1.3 miles. I mean, what can I say? Oh, wonderfully smooth. That's what I'll say straight off. Um, yeah, uh, so the 1200X built for the uh, slightly shorter people, I guess. I don't know. I fit on it just fine, but it's just got a seat height of just 800 and... Uh, 20 millimeters which oh. is 32 33 inches yeah to the seat height um, so tippy toes for Dave yeah marvelous uh, nice wide bars make it very easy to balance um, because it's only done 1.8 miles I'm not gonna go crazy on it um, it's in like a grey colour. I've ridden the big scrambler, the XC, with a seat height of about, I don't know, full giraffe size, shall we say. Um, but this 1200 engine, we know, has got um, about 90 brake horsepower, 89, I think, if you're being precise. Uh, 89 brake horsepower and 110 newton metres of torque. Uh, Nissan brake on the front, uh, Mazoki shocks front and back, yeah, that's just wonderful isn't it? Um, dead comfy and very smooth, I like it so far, uh, the view is quite nice. We've got Mickey Mouse mirrors and all the usual electronics, uh, cruise control etc. Afternoon, sir. Yeah, marvellous. Um, yeah. Uh, so, with that lower seat height comes uh, lower ground clearance. So, oh, if you do go off-road with it, uh, more chance of hitting the bottom. That's what it means. But I shouldn't think it'd be a problem for back lanes gravel tracks and stuff like that it'll be absolutely fine if you went you know full on scrambling I don't know what what surprises me about this is that this is a 1200cc motorbike and it feels as light as a feather it weighs though 228 kilos something like that um, you obviously you'll have to check those figures out yourself because it's me <laughs> yeah suspension feels really good and solid um, got a 21 inch front wheel and a 17 inch back wheel um, and I didn't look I believe there might even be tubeless yeah uh, we'll check when I do the walk round but what I'm going to do first of all I'm going to go on the A14 uh, not the A14 I'm going to go on the A12 yeah and go down to the boatyard and really test that suspension down the boatyard road. So, there we go. Uh, no problem at all, obviously, on the, uh, on the dual carriageway. Handling it's just fine, yeah. It's a tall bike, it always makes you feel like you're leaning more than you actually are. Or maybe are you leaning? I can't, I don't know, I can't work it out. But we've got big test is the washboard road, which we haven't been down for a while. But the road is absolutely terrible. Right, so 
here we are on the washboard road so we'll get a rough idea now I don't know if you can see it in well you could probably hear my voice vibrating but this rides it really really well yeah no trouble at all the bumps keep getting worse and worse um, but uh, for this bike it's not a problem then we get down here indicator on brakes absolutely fine and I think those indicators are self cancelling now we've just got to wait for a train here it comes marvellous perfect timing almost well it would have been perfect if there was no train but you know a good old fashioned triumph clunk oh does that mean we've got another train I think it does no I think when you see this bike you like it a lot and these are the sort of roads I'm guessing it was made for these are the dirt tracks get down here and here we'll really test whether they are because I didn't notice before so let's have a look see if that goes off I shall leave it for now is it going off yeah self cancelling indicators marvellous now this road is absolutely bumpy as hell and it deals with it really well you know 30 down here well 20 is plenty down this road um, 30 usually is pushing it for most bikes uh, standing up dead easy yeah very easy so uh, the seat seems dead comfy, even over the bumps sitting down. So we'll get down here. I'll go down to the end. Uh, slow speed. No problem at all very easy to balance again the wide bars help but the weight distribution as well on it just make it a very very easy bike to ride slow or fast marvellous let's turn it round here and get back a little bit uh, the tide is in by the looks just park it here there you go side stand down dead easy ignition off and there we go oh. let's have a look there you go Triumph Scrambler 1200X oh, it's just wonderful it's a real eye catcher isn't it 
the tradition of uh, classic Bonneville combined with a bit of a retro scrambler, yeah. Um, tubeless tyres, yeah. Uh, as you can see, spokes to the outside. Twin Nissan brakes on the front. Little short mud guard. Probably gonna want a bit of a extender on there if you're not going off road that much. Um, if you put it on and you are going off road, you'd probably get clogged up with mud and stuff. Uh, belly pan there, keep off the crud and stones and stuff off the engine. Um, scrambler style brake pedal, yeah, metal. Should imagine the rubber comes out as well on the foot peg. Rear foot pegs, heat shield guard there. It's not too warm. Don't think Mrs. Tame would object too much to that with the rear foot pegs. Mazoki shocks, let's have a look on the back uh, and upside down forks on the front. Uh, grab rail, nice neat little backlight and triumph on the seat. Brown seat with this grey coloured tank. I don't know what other colours they do. I haven't looked. Um, nice little headlamp as well nice solid clutch and brake lever Mickey Mouse mirrors the clock uh, straight from the um, is it from the speed twin or something you know the I think it is or maybe even the trident maybe making them all uniformed I don't know and that marvelous 1200 engine uh, 89 brake horsepower 110 Newton meters of torque yeah, just wonderful, isn't it? I think so. Not a huge amount of ground clearance, um, but more than enough for uh, sort of off-roading I would do anyway. Yeah. So, radiator, barely notice. Just solid Triumph motorcycle, isn't it? Right, let's get back on board and do the census test. Right, here we are, back on board. Ignition on, ding, marvellous. Oh, wonderful, isn't it? Um, let's get it into gear and then we'll get out of here and uh, do the census test. Yeah. Oh, look at these marvellous boats. Oh, I do like it. Very smooth, uh, low speed. Yeah. So, um, we've got to get back up this bumpy old road here. Up quite a hill. <laughs> yeah. Marvellous, over the sleeping policeman and all the bumps, yeah. Well, what we got here, people, dogs everywhere, car going very slowly. As I say, even in a car, 20's plenty up here. Yeah. Oh, and you can see he's doing 20. And he's probably thinking, Cranky, I'm going too fast. I better go faster. I've got a motorbike behind. Hopefully he'll turn right at the end here. Oh, no, he's turning left. That's disaster, isn't it? I think I'll just hang about a minute. So this is the Suffolk Road yeah terrible road it is too um, as you can see from that sign there cars bicycles horses uh, people big people small people yeah and here comes the first car and that means that that other car hasn't gone anywhere yet so I'll give him a minute to get gone before I set off Right, let's get going and um, do the census test. 
hopefully we won't encounter any fridges or balloons or anything like that which we usually do horses dogs the lot um, full of gravel as you can see already gravel and dirt and floods um, new bike new tires new brakes just taking it a bit steady and I have been down here at a fair lick on the on its uh, taller brother yeah I was gonna say big brother but they're the same size um, so uh, the senses test uh, what would it taste like well I'd say this was a uh, coffee flavor yeah I reckon a cappuccino I don't know why uh, it's very British but a cappuccino's <laughs> uh, very Italian yeah I don't know and we've got that car up already out the way pigeon I'm not getting reversed into again not after the SV incident yeah keep him well out of it But this road is terrible <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh. um, yeah so taste uh, a nice posh coffee of some description I reckon um, and smell well it literally is brand new and oh there's the horse poo there's the tall person Oh, and there's the short person. Wonderful. Going up this hill. Oh, and he's pulling over. Why is he pulling over to let me go? Oh, excellent. Yeah, so it smells like a brand new bike should. A lovely, wonderful smell, isn't it? And I've got to say, uh, my Thruxton still smells like it it's marvellous um, and then to look at well it looks like uh, a sc scrambler yeah of course it does that's what it is and that's what it looks like and it's sort of retro I like it and despite being 1200 cc's um, it's easy enough to move about I am taking it steady of course which you can see because these roads are terrible and the tyres are new <laughs> um, so uh, yeah to look at if you don't like retro bikes you probably won't like this down the hill um, Uh, but I do, I do like it, I like it a lot I think it's a marvellous looking bike and it feels just right as well yeah uh, uh, touch and feel it's it is premium it is, I know people argue about Triumph saying that they're not as good as they could be but they're pretty top notch to me they are anyway um So yeah, uh, the shapes, it's all sort of roundish um, and shiny and easy, yeah. Uh, sound. Well, it's got that Triumph burble. Yeah, oh, it's, it is wonderful. Um, <laughs> I just love it everything's so easy on it you know when you do you, do you remember when you were 17 and you just passed your test and you were thinking about getting a bigger bike um, the thought of being on a 1200 would 
terrify you a little bit and it, bikes like this just make you feel totally confident with it maybe too confident I don't know um, but it's just lovely um, and that brings us on to the sixth sense how does it make me feel it makes me like I say it makes me feel confident and comfortable the seating position the knee angle it's oh, again reminiscent a, a little bit of Bertie except that my foot's a little bit further underneath me um, yeah I like it I like it a lot um, would it have one yeah I most certainly would I've got two Triumphs already these retail at about eleven and a half thousand pounds so about the same sort of money as the Moto Guzzi uh, V8 5TT both bikes with character this obviously has an awful lot more power uh, than the than the Moto Guzzi which to my mind it doesn't make the Moto Guzzi expensive it makes this cheap yeah and I don't mean cheap that in that it is cheap I just mean that it's not a lot of money for the bike that you're getting is it no I don't think so um, but I've got to take it back and to get there I've got to go back down the A12 oh it's just so slick and smooth very nice Yeah, so... You can't mistake that torque from that 120 engine. Get my visor closed. Just lovely. I'll bring you back when we're closer to uh, Lings. Yeah. So, a nice little blast down the A12. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, feeling a lot more comfortable and confident on it now as well now that we've scrubbed a little bit off the tyres and I know how the brakes are working um, but yeah what are its competitors? well do you cut do you put competitors by price or style of bike or what uh, if you're doing it by price um, then uh, I guess the V8 5TT it's a bit of a scrambler the Ducati scrambler maybe I don't know I don't know how much the Ducati scrambler is um, there's not a huge amount of competition is there really for it uh, so it sort of stands out there quite easily and this lower seat height makes it very accessible I was just thinking when I got back on it I threw my leg over it no trouble at all yeah and the torque on that engine is just marvellous the whole thing works so well and I don't understand I think it works better in the Scrambler than it does in the T120 than what it was designed for and I think it's amazing that Triumph have produced the Bonneville the Scrambler the Thruxton and the Speed Twin all with the same engine and they all feel different 
in character. Incredible, really. But I'll bring you back just before we get there. So, um, in traffic, uh, it's quite a commanding position, even with this 820 seat height, because you're on a motorbike and because you're upright, you've got a good clear view of the road ahead. Um, and that's always nice, isn't it, in traffic? Gives you a fair warning of stuff like that where someone's turning left. Yeah. Um, but, do I have to take it back? And I'm about here now. Uh, there is something, of course, I've got to tell you, which you won't be surprised at. Yes, it's got self-cancelling indicators, but... There we go, in here. Um, let's, I'll turn it off. Side stand intuitive, straight over. Ignition off. Let's get round and have a little look. No centre stand, yeah. But what a marvellous looking motorbike, yeah. I really, really enjoyed that. Excellent.